Good afternoon, thank you for coming. My name is Michal Esther uh, and Gen. Okay, my name is Michal Esther. Gen uh, Elmog is here with me and we'd like to talk about ink and donation. We'll see if everything is working. So, when we're talking about ink and donation, let's start with definition. Let's touch base that we understand we're talking about the same thing. So, ink and donation is paid or given in good commodities or services instead of money. And in 2015, as you can see, Wikimedia Israel, 46% of our budget came from ink and donation. And when we are talking about ink and donation, we are talking about, about two kinds. Like good and commodities, which is 38% of our budget, and 80% volunteer hours. What is, when we are talking about volunteer hours, we are doing the hard work of asking our volunteers and collecting the number of hours they volunteered. What, why we do that? Two things, two reasons. The first one is when we know what, how many hours and in which project our volunteers, volunteers, we can look for new volunteers for different projects. We can understand patterns. We can understand when do we need more volunteers and when not and how to recruit them. Second thing, the regulation in Israel, if can let us take the volunteers hour, double them in one hour of minimum wage, and it is part of our incomes. So that's a, our, that's a regulation in Israel, and it changed from country to country. But the volunteers hours can become a, a, a big amount of money that we can add to our incomes. So why do we do that, and why? Why is it important? First of all, we don't have enough money, like any other NGOs, and we can do more when we have in-kind donation. So that's, of course, the first reason we are doing that. The second, any, most of the countries, there is regulation. The government encourage people, encourage NGOs, encourage companies to, uh, to donate, and that's a, better, that's a way to do that. In-kind donation is one kind of donation. So there is a tax, tax relief and, any, and many other kinds of regulation. Please check what works in your country and how can you use it in the best way uh, as we do it. And of course, when we have new partners, when we're recruiting new partners, we are always looking not only the partnership, but to get from them in-kind donation in many, many kinds. And Ken later will give many, many examples. And of course, when we have more projects, when we have more partners, we have more awareness, Wikimedia Israel do more, and we have more publicity and more public awareness. And the last thing that is internal, like when now we are starting to plan 2017, we can look at the numbers and understand in what project we can recruit new partners and get more in-kind donation, in what project our, our volunteers are really enthusiastic and would like to take part, and in what other project we would like to find new volunteers or to look for other things to do, or maybe, maybe close a project because it doesn't work the way we would like it to do. So I would think that it's worth it. Yes, sometimes it's a lot of work, but it's worth the work because it's A, a good, income for us, and B, we can learn from that a lot and do more projects, and now Ken will give you plenty of examples from Israel. Thanks, Michal. Okay, so during this session, I will give you all kinds of examples, but just keep in mind that we're trying to open your mind so we can, you can be as creative as you want and to think about other ways or things that you want to ask as an in-kind donation. So we will start at something I call manpower. And we have two kinds of manpower. The first one is pro bono services. We have a lot of uh, people who give us professional, uh, who has professional skills. And they can, uh, this is their way to, contrib to contribute to uh, Wikimedia Israel. Um, for example, we have uh, at the Wikilove's Monuments, we have uh, tours. Uh, that we offer the public. So we have tour guides, we have photography instructors. Uh, we have a lawyer, which is a lawyer by day and a legal advisor for Wikimedia Israel by, ni by night. Um, we have PR services that we can get for a specific project for free and even graphics services. 
where is this thing? <laughs> oh, okay. So uh, the second thing is volunteers. As Michal said, we're collecting volunteer hours. Um, that allows us, as Michal said, just to uh, assess and uh, to have um, to have to know how many uh, how many hours is spent on uh, uh, as a volunteer hours as staff uh, staff hours. We need to talk about the challenge here. We have two major challenges, and it's regarding uh, documentation and collecting those hours. Um, most of the volunteers wouldn't like us to come and say, how many hours did you spend this month? Because I want to write it down. It's not nice they want to volunteer. Uh, but if they understand what's the concept behind it, it's easier. If they understand that those uh, volunteering hours are translating as real money to enlarge our budget, to make us, to give us the opportunity to do more, so they will help us and they will give the uh, volunteer hours. And in terms of documentation, each month we do it, it's getting easier. The volunteers know how to, to assess how many hours do they uh, spend, and it's getting easier. Sorry. No. Okay. <laughs> so the second thing is venues and facilities. Uh, like most of us, we're a small chapter, and we have office with three rooms, uh, and most of our community meetings is outdoors or at um, our partners' offices because we have a lot of activities for volunteers and for the public, uh, and we need a lot of, a lot of spaces. Uh, for example, community meetings. We have a lot of community meetings at Google Campus or other institute, educational institutes that, that we ask them to give us the spaces. Um, events and conferences. We have our uh, annual Wikipedia Academy conference, and the best thing about it is that we do it at uh, one of the universities in Israel, and it became like a long-term relationship. Each year, they're waiting for us to talk to them, we're talking and we schedule for the next year. It, it helps them promote how they contribute and how they uh, work with us, and of course, we get the whole building for a conference for, all the, day, for the whole day for free. Uh, editing workshop and lectures. A lot of time we do um, editing workshop workshop for the public, so we need a computer room or a science room, uh, classes. So again, we ask our partners. Uh, even outdoor activities, like tickets to enter museums for a thousand words uh, project or Wiki Loves Monuments contest. And hacking spaces. Uh, you can see here with the photos, but some more examples is each year we get a gallery space to, pr to present our uh, winning images from, from Ricky Love's monument. Um, we had an 10, meeting, 10 weekly meetings uh, at the Hebrew Language Academy for a Wiktionary course. Uh, and all of those are for free. Okay. Uh, publicity. So one of our major in-kind donation we get from Google AdWords. For whom of you who don't know, Google AdWords is a service that Google, um, gi they give uh, NGOs for free if you, if you ask them to, basically. <laughs> and it will give you a platform for advertising. You can, uh, you can create a campaign, you can create ads using keywords, and it will, um, it will promote your ideas and activities at the Google search engine. You can see here the screenshot. Uh, just a few days ago, I wrote Wikipedia, just Wikipedia in Israel, in English. And if you don't know, you're welcome to visit our booth. But we just, uh, t t this year, we launched our courseware, which is the self-learning uh, software, the self-learning of Wikipedia editing. Um, and we want, wanted to promote it. So our uh, courseware is the first result you get when you write Wikipedia in English or in Hebrew when you're in Israel. That's really great. Um, you can see that to this date, like less than six months, uh, during 2016, we used online advertising services worth of $34,000. That's 25,000 clicks. Clicks meaning 25 unique users that clicked and entered the, uh, the ad. 
This gives you another tool to measure your impact, to measure how many people are interested in your activities. Okay, another, like some examples. Um, just stuff, stuff you can ask your partners or stuff you can ask uh, with projects you do. As I said, guided tours, 4,000 words project for Wiki Loves Monument project. Uh, photography tutorials, they got, uh, people who come, professional photographers that guide the groups we, we work with. Um, another example, two years ago, after Wiki Loves Monument, we got in touch with HP, a really famous company, and we asked them to print our images, the win winning images, uh, at high quality, and they did it for free. Food and catering. Each time we have a meeting at Google Campus, we'll ask them to give us breakfast and snacks and drinks, and they will do it. <laughs> Activities for volunteers, merchandise, all kinds of things you can ask uh, and try to get. So what if they say no? Don't be embarrassed to ask for a discount. You're an NGO and there's a lot of companies, seeking, companies who are seeking to contribute through community involvement departments. Each time I talk to a supplier, no matter what kind of supplier, I will ask for a discount, three, five, 10% discount. Most of the time they will give me the discount. You should just try. So. Uh, In-kind donation is something you can get through whole, all of the year, but I want to show you the process, uh, and I will use the 2016 Jerusalem Wikimedia Hackathon we hosted just a few months ago to show you how you can gain uh, in-kind donation through a timeline. So we're starting at day zero. Day zero is just before we, uh, it's when we, got, we submitted our proposal before we got the approval to host the hackathon, and we wanted to deal, to deal with the big things. So the venue, we went to talk with the Jerusalem Development Authority, and we told them about this great big international event we're hosting, and we asked them to help us find a venue. And they did, they gave us a venue for four days, including security and cleaning services for free. It was a great venue, uh, and we got it for free. Uh, we, got seen, uh, we got sightseeing tours, and even at the hostel, we just got a fixed price for a special price for all the, the whole four days. Uh, again, we're an NGO, you know? So what after? The planning, we had a lot of month of planning. Um, this is an example for a discount. We just asked one of the biggest communication companies in Israel, and they gave us more than 50% discount on internet services. And it's internet for like four days, really strong one for the hackathon, and we got a lot of in-kind money. Uh, 450 volunteer hours. That's some, oh, I didn't tell you, but this, the previous one was more than $22,000. The planning stage was almost $10,000. And even at the last second, even just before, like a few days or weeks before uh, the hackathon, we still ask for stuff. Uh, one of our sponsors was the Foreign Affairs Office, and they, have, they gave us money, and they have a, a video and photography department. So, we just ask, ask them to come for a day or two to interview some people, to take some photos, and they made us a really great video that we could share. Um, and even food endorsements. A few days before the hackathon, we again got, got, uh, contacted one of, uh, one of the companies in Israel, and they just gave us a lot. All day snacks and sweets were a donation. Another more than $4,000. And even after, after the hackathon, we really wanted to thank our volunteers who helped us. Uh, so we had an event. It was a bit more than $200. But the 2016 Wikimedia Hackathon in-kind donation amounted to more than $36,000. That was quarter of the total budget. 24% of the total, total hackathon budget were in-kind donation. 
that's a lot, I think everyone will agree. Um, so as Michal said before, in-kind donation is not only to enlarge the, the total budget. Uh, it's only also a way to get some more partners to promote your ideas, your activities, um, to measure your successes and impact. Uh, and I really encourage you to try and talk to your partners, the new one and the existing partners, to see what can you get in in-kind donation. When you order like office supply, even then I try to get a discount. Uh, anything you can think of, just be creative and ask for uh, in-kind. Thank you very much. We, we still have a few minutes. We still have a few minutes, so if you want to ask something. Yes. Well, how, uh, okay, my name is Oscar. I want to know what is the procedure to the Google AdWords for you guys, uh, and how can other charters or other users would do it? How you can use it with what? Do the procedure with the Google AdWords. Okay. Basically, if you go to Google and you just click Google AdWords, um, there, it's an international program. Uh, Google AdWords work with commercial companies, but for non-profit organization, if you, uh, if you're, like, you have, the, like, you get the, uh, if you get the permission, it's they have some rules, but it's really basic rules. Almost and all NGOs can uh, get it. Uh, they have like not that long process, like a month or two, until you get the the approval for uh, for the uh, Google AdWords, and then you get a monthly uh, budget, really nice one, and it's based on something like up to two dollar a click, uh, and as long as you use it, you can continue to you will get the uh, the program each month. It won't stop, and if you stop using it, then they will take your permission to use it, but just do it. Hello. Um, how do you find all these pro bono services? How do you come across them? Because you used it like PR, graphics, legal, finance, like how did you do that? Oh, we are looking for that. <laughs> no, we are, uh, I, we are asking our volunteers. If we are looking for something, we, first of all, I'll ask my board, and other volunteers, if they can help us to find it. And the second thing, I can ask my partners, and then I can, I can ch just ask. Like any other uh, grant making, like, like any other fundraising, is just to approach it and to find out if they donated in the past, if they give in-kind donation. So it's a bit research sometimes, but the best way is if I have a connection that will call and say, hey, do you know Wikimedia Israel? They are doing great stuff, can you help them? That will be the best. But the other thing is like any other foundation or any other grant making that we are just approaching them, explaining what we are doing, and then hoping for the best. I'll add something that uh, a couple of times we just went to a, com a com company's website. Uh, most of the really big ones have a community department or something like that, the community relationship. Uh, and we just told them, listen, we have a contest. We really want to print really good photos. You do it. What about helping us out? Anything else? Thank you. Thank you.